Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. Another wild mistake happened yesterday at FC24, which ended up in EA removing an SBC and promising compensation. And while all that was happening, Golazo Team 2 was being leaked, and it kind of goes crazy. Guys, there's a lot to talk about on a quiet Wednesday that was turned crazy with everything going on. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Now, before we head into Thursday, today, all that... Let's talk back and look back at yesterday and all the craziness that went on. Honestly, guys, it was a quiet day yesterday. We call it a quiet Wednesday, right? There was not a lot going on. There was one new SBC. That was literally it. And then some fantasy upgrades. And that's kind of all, guys. I'm not even lying. It was a very quiet day. One of the things that did happen in SBCs is that the Encore Icon Player Pick was refreshed. And actually... This is something that I'm doing now. After opening a bunch of these on stream yesterday, and uh, we put that up on the second channel if you want to check that out, it seems like EA juiced the pack weight um, in this second set. Guys, we were packing 4 million coin icons, not once, but twice in the refresh of this player pick. So that prompted me to go ahead and get it done. I have not finished it yet. We'll open it today on stream, especially with the rivals rewards and all the objective packs that we will have today. We will be opening that for sure, but it just seemed like the weight was very, very good. And a lot of people were doing those yesterday. I do believe it impacted fodder on a slight level. I think some of your 85s, well, actually more your 86 and 87 meter cards went up um, a little bit. Let's take a look at Conte to, to confirm this for an 86. Uh, yesterday, Conte was 6,300 and he went all the way up to, wow, almost 8,000 coins. Right now, they're back down a little bit, but it looks like they went up about 1,000 coins yesterday on the 86 range as people were doing the refresh of that Encore icon pick. So I was not even thinking about doing this SBC. And then with how they looked yesterday, I was like, you know what? I'm going to put a pause on Rafa Marquez for a second. Let's go get this Encore icon player pick done. So I'm committed there. We're doing that now. And it will get done and be open today on the stream. That link is down below in the description. If you haven't checked out the stream, make sure you do that there. Now, a couple other things before we get into the big SBC, the whole Beckham situation. We have some fantasy upgrades to discuss, and a couple of them look crazy. We knew that Usman Dembele was going to look cracked. I don't think there was as much hype for these upgrades um, as there have been in previous weeks because a lot of the SBC players didn't get upgraded, right? These were some of the last upgrades for players in their fourth and final game, like Usman Dembele getting that plus four, um, going all the way up to 94. Majri going to a 92, kind of kind of relative to the Stanway upgrade last week, a lot of hype for her card with the stats that she has. That is a disgusting card. 87 and above in every single stat category with the five-star skills is crazy. Links to Basha, links to all the Lyon women's players, technical, price proven, what a great card. 99,000 coins with that upgrade. She has risen a bit, but for players like the Usman Dembele we just looked at and Declan Rice, who did get upgraded, their prices are down a lot. Now, Declan Rice's price took a big dive yesterday. He was actually going up a little bit after the upgrade. He went from like uh, 1.6 all the way to 1.8 at one point. But he's dropped down big time because Arsenal were one, I think it was one goal short, either one or two goals short of getting him a 94 rated overall boost and basically clinching that. But of course, like we said in yesterday's video with these upgrades upcoming, guys, it is always always a good opportunity to sell these cards in the hype especially when they get that last upgrade either eclipsed or they don't get the last upgrade um kind of checked off right they don't satisfy the requirements for that a lot of times they do drop so that's why dembele is down that is why especially that declan rice is down a lot so selling in the hype was the play there uh, this don't forget about this for rich guy man fantasy fc is going to go down as one of the better promos of the year especially because of the sbc players and of course it comes out with a little bit of luck right but the fact that for rich bajorno um and of course um, you talk about Werner and you talk about Rolfo, insane SBCs that came out during that promo with all the upgrades that they got. This card was 100,000 coins and look at the stats that he has with the five star skills and the technical plus. Unbelievable card and he got his final upgrade yesterday. So those fantasy upgrades were released um, and they're there. So yeah, a lot of those cards now are kind of like in their final form, but they look absolutely cracked. And that's why I think the fantasy promo this year, it's good every year but this year like man some of the SBC upgrades just went extra crazy which i think made us like the promo a little bit more now maybe not a hundred percent as much while it was out but now seeing the upgrades it's like wow all right i think we need to respect fantasy fc again it really killed it this year with the content that we had there now the team of the week that was also dropped yesterday does include whoa 190k 
for Cristiano Ronaldo. Um, that seems to be a little bit cheap because he was just selling for like 230. You know what? I'm actually going to buy that because he was literally just like 230K. And if two cards sell, he's going to be back up there. But Ronaldo is, I would say, the headliner of Team of the Week. He didn't get two playstyle pluses, but actually... I'm kind of okay with that because this Ronaldo being 88 rated with only one playstyle plus, uh, but with the stats that he has, actually could make him more evolvable sooner rather than later, right? Two playstyle plus is probably getting into an Evo where another playstyle plus will be added. So three playstyle plus cards is not going to happen for a while. So there's a Ronaldo special. The team of the week itself, Rafael Leal, Rodrigo, um, Hummels, Sergio Ramos getting in with a pace boost. I mean, <clears throat> it's an okay team. It's not amazing. It's just there. So that's the team link that is out right now. But of course, we're going to try to flip that Ronaldo. Hopefully, I can get like 220 for him. That'd be nice. Yeah, 220 should be an easy sale. I'm glad I bought that. That's a crazy price for him. He was I sold one of him at 270 earlier. He's very, very rare, and he fluctuates a lot. So we're forgetting one big piece of yesterday's content. It's kind of the main thing of the video today and the main thing that happened yesterday. And if you go look at the SBC or go look for the SBC, guys, you are not going to find it because EA have not yet re-released the SBC that they had to take away because they made a really massive mistake, guys. This is the SBC that was released yesterday. I'm sure you heard a lot about it or you even did it in the first 37 minutes that it was available. The David Beckham Future Stars Icon Player SBC. It came in right around 500,000 coins when it was released, which actually is not bad value. Just talking about the SBC in its own right here for a second, without any of the mistakes that it was, uh, 500,000 coins for a David Beckham card who yesterday, before the content drop, who really nobody knew this was coming, there weren't leaks for it, at least publicized leaks, he was 550k on the market before um, this SBC dropped. So with the SBC coming in just under market price, with how craftable the menus are, with all the fodder packs you can get, 8310s, etc. That's a good value SBC. Let's be honest. It's not the most meta card, but it's an SBC that a lot of people I think will want to do when it comes back. It is going to come back. EA did say that in their tweet, which we'll look at in a second. And also guys, I think it's interesting to note, this is the second Beckham SBC of the year. We had the base version as an SBC very early on in the game, and a lot of people did that one. This is the second Beckham SBC of the year. I don't know if that's ever happened. There used to be a rule that if they had an Icon SBC before, they couldn't get one again, but that rule is now off the table, of course, seeing two Beckhams in one year. It is a good card. It's not the most insane card again, but it's very solid. If you want to get a version of Beckham in your team, pretty affordable. I would say it's a W. Now, here's where the issue came in, though. When the SBC was dropped yesterday, people started to notice. I mean, it was one of those things where you kind of got to read the fine print to really notice it. Notice on all these icon SBCs where it says the player name, Future Stars icon Shevchenko, and then in quotes, untradeable. Franck Ribéry, and then in quotes, untradeable. When the Beckham SBC dropped yesterday, it did not say untradeable. And when people started completing the SBC and getting the card, it was giving out a tradable David Beckham, which is obviously not how Icon SBCs, that's not even like how they work, right? Because the whole point of an Icon player SBC is to get the player untradeable so you don't have to buy them on the market. You work up to building them, right? That's kind of the point for Icon player SBCs, right? Well, it was obviously a mistake that EA did that yesterday and uh they fixed it pretty quick like people started doing the sbc so fast for the potential of compensation um, whether they were going for compensation of like getting the fodder back from doing the sbc or getting the card tradable to sell it and then maybe hoping to get an untradable version um everybody was sprinting to the sbc section to try to get this done and take advantage of the compensation situation that would be coming right so in doing that this card went from 550,000 coins where he was started getting supplied tradable on the market he went all the way down to about 330 340 and then ea removed the sbc guys it did not take them very long to take this sbc away it took all of 37 minutes it kind of is like um makes me reminisce on the whole team of the year messy um glitched player pick thing that happened with that 86 plus player pick um because that was only out for what 24 minutes right so this was out for 30 minutes i mean obviously if ea removes something like that that fast they do not want it in the game but the problem is they haven't refreshed it yet because it's going to take some work on their end to bring it back and especially with what they decided to do for compensation 
this is what they're doing, guys. So the Future Stars Beckham SPC group has been removed from uh, the game in-game because it was incorrectly providing tradable rewards. Exactly, right? This is what EA did. I think this is actually a W decision, um, about as good as it can get. Players who partially completed the SPC will get their fodder back, and then their SPC progress will also be saved. So if you were in the middle of doing the SBC, whatever amount of the SBC you did, the cards you put into each and every one of those squads, you're going to get the fodder back. I know people that were one squad away from finishing the whole SBC as they were trying to get it done and get the tradable Beckham. I know other people that maybe just started one, right? Maybe did the loan, the bronze, the silver squads. So you're, whatever you had done, if you had anything done, you're going to get that fodder back. But then also when the SBC returns, you're going to have that many squads completed. So I think... That's a decent way of compensating it. I mean, of course, this shouldn't be a problem in the first place. Like, I mean, guys, to get honestly a little bit technical with it, like, why is this still happening in this game? Not this specific mistake, but why do small things like this, like, happen? Like, I don't know, man. Some people are going to say it's on purpose. I genuinely don't think it's on purpose. I just... You know, it's one of those little small things that, like, how many eyes does this pass through before the SBC actually get re gets released? And it, it's frustrating, right? It's frustrating because then people went sprinting out to the market to try to get this SBC done, buying fodder players to get the Beckham SBC done. They spent coins to try to get it done, then then get the tradable card and take advantage of the compensation. Um, I think the people that are the most upset right now or those who did the SBC and got the David Beckham tradable. And I think maybe they were feeling like they should have got an untradable version as compensation. But like technically, the, you got what the SBC said you were getting. You got a Beckham version. It was just tradable instead of untradable. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, I do feel a little bit bad for those that were trying to do the SBC in the first 30 minutes to get the tradable card. But I guess the way that EA is looking at it, is that you did the SBC and you took advantage of the problem that we did, we created the problem, right? The, the card being tradable. So you got those coins back and you got all the packs for doing the SBC. Um, so that's kind of like your compensation in itself. You like took part in the glitch, if you would, if you will. Um, so I think that's why they're not giving out an untradable version to everybody who completed it, which wouldn't be that many people. Uh, but I think it is why they're saving SBC group progress and giving back to fodder for any of the segments that you kind of got done. So that was all the madness around content yesterday. I mean, I think I'm not too disappointed at people trying to get involved with compensation. Um, I said it yesterday on stream. The thing that I'm most disappointed with this is, again, it's just another mistake. It's another mistake. It just, it doesn't make sense. They're creating more work for themselves than they have to do. And it's just creating more, I mean, frustration towards them than there really needs to be. This would have been, without the whole mistake yesterday, just a genuinely nice SBC to be released, untradeable. But now here's the thing. It's not coming back until the coming days, which when there's compensation like this on the line, I can't imagine it's going to be super fast. Like compensation has taken anywhere from a couple of days to a couple of weeks. I really hope it's not a couple of weeks because the further that we go along in this game, this card becomes maybe less and less in the meta, if you will. And the hype around him being out was that, oh, I could use this card right now, get it back up into my team, crack the SBC, and get the card pretty soon, right? So that was kind of the hype with it. So, um, yeah, I'm just frustrated with the whole fact that there was a mistake in the first place. I'm really not mad. I don't think of people trying to take advantage of the compensation, but I said yesterday as well on stream, I mean, guys, with the whole goalkeeper thing that happened and the market bans because of that and everything else, um, I don't think if there's any sort of like questioning what sort of compensation there is going to be, if it's like unsure, like it, when there's a situation like that happened yesterday or maybe with the goalkeepers a couple of weeks ago, right? Or last week that was, I don't think I'm going to try to take advantage of compensation anymore in that way. Like the only time I will really try to do that is when it's super obvious. Remember when they dropped the 87 plus hero player pick and it was giving out 86s because it said 86 on the, on the player pick. So we all were waiting for a while to get that back. But that one was like obvious. It's like, okay, they said we're supposed to get 87s, but the pick says 86 plus. I don't know, man. I just feel like it's so much work to try to figure out how they're going to compensate because they compensate different every time, right? So, yeah, I'm just not going to try to get involved with that because I just think, you know, it's too hard to try to guess. And for most people as well, like, I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, Nate, none of this even pertains to me because I wasn't even on 
when this actually happened and I just I maybe heard about the SBC, didn't actually even get a chance to complete it. And now I feel like I missed out because there's not a Beckham SBC there. And again, that's why I think I'm the most frustrated with EA because it's like, okay, you created this problem. Now the SBC is not there and people can't do it. So that's the whole Beckham situation in a nutshell, everything that is going on. Um, his price for his card on the market now is going to be a lot cheaper than the SBC because let's face it, EA just put a whole bunch of those on the market because hundreds, really thousands of people got the SBC done um, before, you know, it went away. And that's a lot of people that are now going to have that tradable Beckham or that's a whole lot more Beckhams that have just now been appeared and basically supplied onto the market. So that is that whole situation from yesterday. I don't want to belabor it, but that was definitely the biggest thing that happened yesterday. Now, while all that was happening, this is the crazy thing too. While all of that was happening, we were getting leaks all day yesterday, as expected, um, to be honest, but it kind of fell secondary to the whole Beckham situation. Leaks for team numero dos, numero dos, let's say it correctly, from Golasso team two. Guys, a lot of leaks, and I got to say, this team of players isn't bad, right? Alawayrin, Cafu, Cruyff, Ginola, Charlton, right? Some W's in your job, Alonso, big boost. Team two looks pretty different, like spicy different. There are some big name icons in here, and I want to go through some of them with you. We've seen Jarzinho. We've mentioned that one. I don't want to spend ages talking about this either, but Jarzinho is one of three Brazilians that is coming in this promo. Roberto Carlos is another one, and we talked about this yesterday on stream. This one doesn't sit that well with me because it's yet again another scenario where EA dropped an SBC player that a lot of people got excited for to do because it was the best version of that player. It was a decently priced SBC three weeks ago when the future stars Roberto Carlos was dropped. That SBC was dropped and a lot of people did it, right? It made team of the year Karchawi and a lot of other left backs drop. Well, here we go. You got that SBC done. You maybe just crafted it. Well, whoops, your card's not the best one in the game anymore because there's going to be a Golazo Roberto Carlos coming out this Friday. That's the thing that frustrates me. And the example that I used as well was with the Evos, right? Remember when we had the Winter Wild Cards Evo for Kyle Walker and everybody went bananas for him. But then two or three days later, they put out another Winter Wild Cards in packs version of Kyle Walker that was a little bit better. Um, yeah, that just that sort of thing I don't enjoy. And I feel for you guys that maybe had their Roberto Carlos done. Because if you take a look at the price of this Golasso team, if Cafu is 1.2 million coins, I don't think this Carlos is going to be too much more than 1.2 to 1.5 million either. Unless EA completely changed the pack weight, which I don't anticipate happening from Team 1 to Team 2. So that was just one yesterday that that is a W leak, to be honest, big name player, but it's not, I guess it's, it's a little weird with me because of the SBC that we had recently, more players coming out. King Cantona, big card here as well. Really curious to know what his playstyle pluses are going to be. His Thunderstruck card has technical plus his base has flair, which I think is one of the most useless playstyle pluses in the game. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not, but, um, He's obviously going to have two on this new version that comes out. Excited for this card just because I hope he gets maybe maybe finesse. I don't know what he's going to get, but I'm kind of excited for that one. Should be good. And then finally, a special version to rival Blanc. Desai is coming out, man. Desai is getting a card. Uh, it's the first special of the year for him. For him, Definitely deserved. He's going to be an absolute beast. He's not the only beast center back that's going to be coming out in Team 2 as well. We also have Lineker. Lineker, I think, is going to be one of the cheaper options, but maybe, kind of like they did with Javi Alonso, they'll make him a little bit more boosted, juice up his stats a bit, maybe give him like a five-star skill or something. That would be cold. So EA, do some good upgrades here, and we can get pretty excited. Now, I, like I said, there's a lot of names, guys. The names keep getting better as well. Kaká, he's the third and final Brazilian to be leaked. Finesse plus for Kaká is definitely necessary. Let the jokes roll. We talked about it yesterday on stream too. You know, this card's probably going to be less than 2 million, so I can mistakenly buy him for 2 million like I did last year. That's the running joke for me. Every time we see Kaká, it's memories of last year buying him for 2 mil when he was like 1 million coins when my menus glitched out. And uh, I actually did that. So that's the Kaká leak right there. His card's going to be cracked. We were, we were due a new version of him. But I was not expecting this one. Pushkas. Pushkas is going to be an absolutely mental card because his earlier on version of Thunderstruck is mental. Mental, mental version. Um, is this one going to be 5-5 five, five is the question. If they go crazy with a Pushkas, I, like, I could very easily see this being the headliner icon for the promo. So, you know, Cruyff with those kind of stats, I don't know if... Um, 
Pushkas is going to have his craziest stats as Cruyff, but he might be up there, man. And if he's 5'5 five, five or close to it with good play style pluses, this might be our 5 mil plus uh, priced icon of the team. That card is going to be insane. So those are all the or most of the icon leaks right there. We do have a couple more. Lampard is coming out as a Golasso icon. Um, Bex SBC Lampard being released. Hopefully it's a good pace boost for his card. He had a Trophy Titans last year. I don't know if you guys remember that or not. So kind of the same card year, year, year over year, but it is what it is. A couple more. We have Vidic. I'm excited for Vidic, actually. He could get a big pace boost like Colaire did in the hero version of Team 1 of this promo, right? Colaire was unusable. Gave him a pace boost that we get Vidic. This card could be a tank. 95 defending, 94 physical. Like if that's anywhere close to what he actually will have, this card will be super duper good. And I remember a lot of you guys probably think of Vidic with his team of the year item, which was last year, right? Vidic hasn't had any specials this year, right? Um, okay, now he did have one. Yeah, that's right. He had an SBC that I don't think too many people did. So, yeah, actually, a decent amount of people did this one. I remember seeing him in game, but that team of the year Vidic last year was crazy. So the Vidic this year, hopefully with this promo, ends up being pretty good too. And the last leak that we have is Rosicky. We're going to be getting more hero leaks today for sure. Again, very icon heavy. Uh, with the leaks that we have actually you know what count up all the icons that we have in team one maybe we're going more icon heavy in team two than team one based off of all the names that we got it's a lot of icons um and maybe there's going to be less heroes which could bring some more hype to this team too for sure now we're going to keep watching for more leaks today again for the heroes that we have not yet seen information about we'll hope to see more about that and to see some potential names. I'm hoping for Adina Tale, but I've heard rumors and seen a couple of uh, comment tweets that he is not going to be getting a card, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, or maybe Cordo Buzz is going to get one. I don't know. So, yeah, we'll be looking out for more Golasso Team 2 leaks coming in soon today on Thursday. Now, a couple more things about Thursday as well. Rivals Rewards today. Um, like I said, I'm going to have so much fodder, and that's the best thing about Thursdays with the Rivals Rewards is you get these wins, you get these rewards, you get it knocked out and you get so much fodder and it, the past couple of weeks it has impacted the fodder market once again if we go take a look at sbc prices of this fodder i would not be surprised if the 87s and below take a little bit of a hit in price because people are still taking tradable rivals rewards they could get supplied a little in the market today and they could drop that's one thing to watch out for and at the same time i want to watch these golazo cards because you know, tradable supply usually means coins hit the market and people are going out and buying those promo cards. I could see some of the Golasso team, the rare ones, the more popular ones, um, maybe a Charlton, Alawayrin, Jabi Alonso, Colaire, Cole, Cafu, some of those guys going up a little bit today. I wouldn't think it would be crazy though, because they also have decently high pack weight, right? I keep getting tweets of you guys packing these insane cards um, in the store packs and then even like in random player picks and stuff too. So, I could see some of these going up today. I don't know if I'm going to put any of my coins into investing in this, to be honest. So maybe it's just a quick flip there. Uh, but Rivals Rewards is a big thing today. And a lot of people are going to be doing SBCs. Um, and I think that the fodder, I don't know if fodder is going to go up that much. But maybe if you do have some of it or if it drops down after the Rivals Rewards a little bit, maybe there's an investing opportunity to lazy list a little bit as people are going and doing SBCs after that. But I wouldn't think the swings would be too crazy. And other than that, it's probably going to be a quiet Thursday today, guys, because that's how Thursdays usually are. We got new marquee matchups that will be coming in today, of course, uh, refreshing with this. And then other than that, I mean, we've been getting a player SBC every single day. They're keeping up that trend. So, I don't know who it would be today. I don't know if we're due any player of the months. How many days does Verts have left? 10 days for Verts. Um, I don't know if we're getting any player of the months today, to be honest. Maybe there's another road to the final SBC if there's a team that's not been covered yet with a road to the final player. That's a question mark that I would have as well. Um, but it's probably going to be a filler content Thursday. I wouldn't expect anything crazy. All in the lead up to tomorrow, Team 2 of the Golasso promo. So today will be a day to cross your T's, check... Uh, Cross your T's and check your I's, basically dot your I's, because making sure you get all your games done, qualify for the weekend league, get that stuff in, maybe even get a head start. Guys, one tip I will give you is, like, I play Rivals on Wednesdays most often just because I procrastinate and save it until the day before rewards. It is so clear to play your Rivals games early. Like, if you have the chance to play Rivals early, get a head start on that stuff, like freaking do it because it is way way less sweaty i'm gonna try to get this messy at 509 on a bid I'm glad i checked that it is way less sweaty every other day of the week 
except for Wednesdays. So just to point that out, a lot of you probably already knew that, but that is something that I might even try to dip into if I have a little extra time today. I got to finish the cup and in a couple games there. And of course, we're going to be trading and flipping. I picked up a Varane for 1.9, 1.78. And right now he's 1.9. I have mine listed up at 1.95. So hopefully we get the sale today with a couple cards going up there. And uh, I still have a couple other special cards here or there. I picked up a Declan Rice down at 1.13. And I think mine might be the cheapest on the market. I listed at 1.23. I don't think I got the sale. I think I just sold somebody else. But the market's still doing decent for flips and for trades. You just got to time it right. I bought these grab and birch yesterday for like 100 to 105. Um, Hugo Sanchez yesterday, I bought him for 228 and 225. That was a good flip. Goretzka for one mil flat, sold for 1.1. 1 .1. um, Araujo for 815. And then some smaller flips too, like Salah that I bought for 301 and this Mead I bought for 215. So yeah, the Varane I still have listed up. He's about to expire. And then the Declan Rice I think might be the cheapest one on the market. I had that listed overnight because I'm about to go to sleep. And uh, yeah, I'm going to check out this Christian Ronaldo that I just bought and make sure that uh, he's going back up to 220 where it looked like he was about to go to. And if he doesn't, I might just hold him because he's probably going to go there after Rivals Reward today too, but I won't hold him too much longer than that. Yeah, it's 215. Yeah, I'm probably going to sell them here for like 207 if this one ex goes away and gets bought. I'll probably list them up there. So, yeah, guys, we're going to trade today, and we're going to get some things done, progressing through all the packs, maybe crafting some SBCs, and opening our icon pick today on stream. So, if you want to see that, come through the streams. Link down below in the description. Check out the second channel video if you want to see me open a bunch of these because they were honestly hitting yesterday, and that's what motivated me to gamble for once and do one of these myself. And uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below your thoughts on the whole Beckham situation as well. I know there's a lot of positive and negative from all of you guys at the same time. So I just want to hear your thoughts. What happened with you? Did you try it? Were you on? Were you not? And all that sort of thing. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the stream today. It's been Nate for the Count. Catch you guys there. Peace.